Kyle, my man, we have to have a talk. You're just acting crazy out there. Last episode, you got naked. What are we gonna do with you, Kyle? Kyle, you need to settle down. I'm worried about you, Kyle. Stop it. Get some help. Kyle. Kyle. Kyle! Welcome back, my scrubs, to another episode of Kyle is Famous! And so he thinks he gets to do anything he wants because he is famous. It's a very, very hilarious game, and if you missed last episode, uh, here's a small clip, uh, explaining what happened. Let's play dead. Kyle slumped in his seat and played dead. <laughs> He's like, Bye, so as you can see, we have so many more endings that we can get. We got they died, pretty self-explanatory, and the no close ending. So let's just see. I mean, this game is absolutely hilarious. I'm really, really loving it. Kyle wakes up, he's famous. Well, does he have to throw it in my face every five seconds? Okay, so I mean, with this with that many endings, like there I feel like there hasn't been that much we haven't tried, but apparently there is. So let's go ahead and exit the bed. I want to know what happens if we just actually go everything perfect. Will we get the uh, the actual ending of the game? So let's just try to go super, super normal. I think that would be um, interesting. I mean, probably not that exciting, but hey, interesting. I almost forgot. It's very important that we open the closet and actually put on uh, some clothes, because if not, we will be naked. It's just not something you expect to happen. So let's get like a slick suit, uh, because we're we're famous, right? We want to look really nice. We want to suit up with a slick suit. Kyle miraculously crammed his dumpy body into the suit. Why do they always gotta call him dumpy? What if Kyle has feelings? Does anyone care? The chest pockets were filled with random knickknacks. What is Kyle doing with his suit? All right, let's go to the hallway, I guess. And oh wait, no, no, no. we need to write notes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So if, if you did see last episode, uh, you, we we get in trouble when we do not write notes. So let's go back to the bedroom, sit at the desk, and write some notes for the interview. Oh, we actually have to uh, we actually have to pick the questions as well. Is your mother a mother? Is she? These are the pressing questions we need to ask uh, Rachel May. Am I a mother? That's what we want to ask. Oh my god. No, we wanted to go normal. Let's refrain from being crazy, but I have so many things I want to do. Are you a mother? What are some diet tips? I perp- Oh my god. <laughs> I purposely ran over a puppy. Kyle. Okay, we're gonna go again. Normal. Keep it normal. I'm so tempted though. What's your funniest story? What's your guilty pleasure? Oh my god, no! That was so loud! <laughs> Kyle ripped his page of notes out of the notebook and got up from the desk. I thought someone slipped my throat for a second. <laughs> you like, the, the games we play on this channel, you, you never know if they're gonna be a horror game or not, right? All right, back to desk. I mean, what else should we do? I guess we can go back to, oh wait, just the desk drawer. Have we ever done this? A sorted change and a small key. Let's get the small key back to the desk. We're gonna go to the hallway, because I'm pretty sure uh, that was the locked door from when we were a ghost, we went through it. So let's go to the locked door. Force the door with her forehead. No. Why can't we open it? What's the key for? What is the key for? Move to the kitchen. Maybe we'll figure it out there. Check pantry. Oh yeah, that's right. We couldn't get in there before. Oh crap, there's so many things I want to do. The pantry door locked creaked as if it hadn't moved for years, but eventually opened. Why? Look in the pantry. And why was that in our desk? Again, I think we have an eating problem and we're like trying to stop ourselves or something. Instead of an assortment of canned goods and grains, Kyle's pantry stored his massive amount of, of bottled lard? I was right! He's looking like Squidward when he freaking uh, tried Krabby Patties for the first time. Grab a bottle of lard. Oh, I want to be normal here. Why is that an option? Chug a bottle of lard? It's disgusting. Ew. Fam. What would we do with said bottle of lard? Grab it. Back to the kitchen. Open fridge. What do you even do? I guess you can cook with lard. It doesn't matter. It's it's too it's too late. Okay, let's not eat the fridge this time. Let's prepare breakfast. Oh, ah, too late. I was so excited for my interview, I decided to eat nothing. Okay, so we got a bunch of stuff up here. I have a feeling there's another ending we probably could have gotten. Kyle hurry to the set. Okay, again, we want to act normal. So she asked us, like, how are we doing? We're going to answer politely and all this. After other wild exchange of pleasantries, Kyle and Rachel were prompted to take their places for the broadcast. God, I don't know why these noises freak me out so much. It's day of play with Kyle, everyone's favorite show. Okay, I I'm, re I'm really interested to see how this is going to turn out now that we actually have notes. Yo, Kyle collapsed on the Floor, why? From a combination of stressful preparation and not eating anything, Kyle has passed out? I noticed that we didn't eat anything, but that's, I mean, I would I would argue that, that not, you, okay, you, you it, it, now this, it's not gonna make sense unless you watch last episode. Cause last episode we ate moldy crust on the wall or something like that. I would imagine that that would make you pass out, but apparently not eating anything just makes us. <laughs> so I had to eat something. Oh no. Nobody in the studio quite knew what to do with him. They began to poke Kyle in the back to see if he moved. <laughs> He's got like a stick. Are you alright, dude? Kyle. Kyle. After a while, they ended the broadcast, shut off the lights, and went home. Did they leave me there? Am I just laid out? 
Am I just laid out, freaking wasted on the floor? Kaya was left. <laughs> they, that's exactly what they did, audience. Kaya was left face first on the floor. The end. Kyle prepared himself by starving himself. This game is so surprising. <laughs> Again, let's try to get a good ending. All right, yoink. We got that key. All right, <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Back to desk. We're gonna go to the hallway. We're not wasting a single move here. Move to the kitchen. Check pantry. Use the key. Bam, grab a bottle of lard. We could chug the bottle of lard, but again, I don't think that's normal. Not in any universe I would know of. Open fridge. We're gonna prepare the breakfast, normal breakfast. Kyle constructed a breakfast of poached eggs and toast along with a small fruit cup and grilled sausage. We could smash it or we can eat it. I'm gonna go with eat it. Kyle, can you just be normal for one second? I got a feeling you got famous, not for the right reasons. Kyle is disgusting. Those noises are like worse than anything I've heard on ASMR freaking cooking, which some of them I just can't, I can't watch it because it sounds just like that. Why do people like that? I mean, you might like it, but I don't get it. Kyle ate his breakfast slowly and thoughtfully, enjoying every bite. He felt refreshed. Just get those noises out of my ear. Okay, well, I'm, we, we did that. That seemed fairly normal, except for the scary sounds. Let's return back to the hallway. I don't know. I don't know what else we could really do. Leave the apartment? Um, oh, let's visit the, the neighbor. It doesn't matter, though, because it's time for staying up late with Kyle. This time, we're not going to pass out and die. I can't believe they poked me though. Okay, I'm just gonna read it all because I don't I don't want to miss something like I did last time. Assuming I thought everything was gonna be the same. Okay, you are our most welcome guest. Shake hands. After other mild exchanges and pleasantries, Kyle and Rachel were promptly uh, took their places for the broadcast. Tonight, I have the pleasure of introducing the lovely Rachel May, who needs no introduction. Hey, Rachel. Okay. Kyle motioned to Rachel, who smiled and waved at the camera. Hello, Kyle. He, she said. I'm glad to be here. Well, I'm sure we'll have a lot to discuss, so we might as well just just dive right in. Drink lard. <laughs> Everything's going normal. You think you know what Kyle until he starts drinking lard, okay? All right, go ahead and uh, sit down, Rachel. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, what, what's this here? Oh, don't worry about it. Okay. All right. It's just it's just lard. Oh, that's good. Really quenches your thirst. All oh, the guests. Bruh. Bruh. It, it, you can tell it's a key option here as well. So again, as tempted as I am, I want to just get a normal ending and see if we can. I am very ready, said Rachel with a winning smile. Oh, so we can actually ask her one of the questions in the notes because we actually took them this time. Are you a mother? I feel it's a weird question, but let's ask that. Like a Wikipedia search would work. Like what kind of question is this anyway? Rachel, I and many others would love to know, are you a mother? Kyle looked up from his notes. Are you a mother? Answer the question. Well, being a single woman with a career, she answered, that's not something that has crossed my mind. That was a lovely answer. Thank you, Rachel. Rachel smiled genuinely at Kyle. I could respect everyone. Very reasonable indeed, said Kyle. He referenced his paper of questions. <laughs> this is a weird interview. <laughs> I feel like they would just look at each other like that. Dude, this is a snooze fest. I'm asleep right now. <laughs> As I talk, Kyle asked another question. I'm guessing Rachel May is like supposed to be like a woman who like it's like you want to be her as if you were a woman, you understand? A model woman. So what is her guilty pleasure? I really would like to know. We all have one. What's your guilty pleasure, huh, Rachel? Oh, well, that's an easy answer, said uh, Rachel, dropping pickles and chocolate sauce or dipping. <laughs> I honestly thought that she brought some a jar of pickles to this interview and dropped them. Okay, dipping pickles in chocolate sauce. Okay, that's disgusting. Actually, di that's that can't be real. Nope, nope. Uh, uh, chocolate covered pickles are a thing people actually eat. What is wrong with you all? Apparently, Good Mythical Morning did it as well. It might sound strange, but it's a tangy and sweet at the same time. I eat it far too often. Rachel smiled sweetly. <laughs> Kyle asked another question. What's your funniest story? Again, I just feel like this interview is so awkward. <laughs> You've been involved in a lot of different things, said Kyle, but what's your funniest story? Well, that's a great question, Kyle, said Rachel. I think the story I always remembered is the first time I tried to make dinner for my family. In the soup I made, I swapped out the water with milk and tipped the whole jar of salt in the pot. And you still served it? Are you trying to kill your family? While my family was sick uh, from trying to eat it, I swiped their things and locked myself in my room. Rachel, are you admitting on live camera on my broadcast on up, up late night with Kyle's? Are you saying that you just, you murdered your family? Is that what you're about to tell me right now? Rachel laughed elegantly. 
<laughs> I'm insane. Kyle decided to move on <laughs> for good reasons. Okay, all right, last question. What is your diet tips? Rachel, you managed to keep such a thin, healthy figure. What is your best diet tip? Nothing but wrong answers, okay? Please. Well, a good diet tip starts with the plan, answered Rachel, and don't break it. Cheat days can turn into a habit, but she continued, that doesn't mean a midnight snack here and there isn't allowed, she smiled. And I think we all know what that would be. It would be disgusting chocolate covered pickles. Like, do you, any of you actually do that? Please let me know. Leave a comment down below so I can make fun of you. Kyle looked at his flabby self, decided uh, to not comment, and moved on. <laughs> Kyle, I mean, I guess that's what dumpy means. I mean, I, they keep using it, but I guess Kyle is not very fit. Do not follow Kyle's examples. And in fact, don't follow anything that Kyle does, really. After reading his final question, Kyle looked up from his paper. Well, Rachel, he said, I think that's all I was planning on asking you. If that's the case, Kyle, may I ask you something in return? Asked Rachel, smiling one more time. Did she do this before? Do you prepare for your interviews in advance because you seem very together? That is very lovely for you to say, Rachel. Before Kyle could answer, the camera shut down. The broadcast was over. Kyle returned. Oh, that's, that's what the heck, man. Kyle returned home knowing the interview had gone all gone well. But as he lay in bed and drifted to sleep, he felt that perhaps something was still missing. That was very well. So that wasn't the actual ending? No, that was the first inning. Good interview. All right, let's do one more. This time? <laughs> oh, this time. Okay. What we haven't done is get jeans and swimming goggles and take them to the thing, okay? He decided on a more casual style. He could barely see out of the goggles. Oh god, he's gonna get into like a car wreck because he can't drive. All right, we're gonna sit at the desk and prepare. <laughs> oh god, we're gonna ask the most horrible questions. All right, write notes for an interview. Is your mother a mother? Is she? Dude, I have a feeling that this game is really based off of Eric Andre. <laughs> we can use this one as a little nice icebreaker. I purposely ran over a puppy. She would really love that. <laughs> so instead of asking her, what's your guilty pleasure? Are you guilty? All right, we're gonna check in the desk drawer. Uh, we really want that lard. Get that small key. All right, let's go back to the kitchen. All right, this time I actually want to eat the breakfast just so we don't pass out, you know, with the... All right, so we march on down to the studio with our goggles uh, and our swimming trunks, I guess. Well, I'm sure we have a lot to discuss, so we might as well just, just jump into it. All right, said Kyle. All right, as he casually drinks his lard. Dive right into this bottle of lard! <laughs> uh, sp today's sponsor is lard. You want to get fat? Great. Get lard. He pulled out his bottle of lard, bit the top off, and chugged it. Kyle's body rejected the lard. He began to spew chunks of lard and digest the fluid in every direction. Everything within a 10-foot radius was immediately covered, including Rachel. You think she's gonna stay? Kyle continued to vomit. Rach Rachel bravely fought to stay seated amongst the vomit, hoping to save the show from disaster. I'm sorry, I just gotta give her a clap because that is a dedicated Rachel there. I feel like what just happened kind of balances out her nasty habit of eating chocolate covered pickles. I would say we're about a 50-50 right now, kind of evenly balanced. What, what would you say, huh, scrubs? Unfortunately, Kyle's vomit had covered all of the cameras. There was no broadcast. Kyle finished spewing eventually. Oh my god, the broadcast was not recoverable. All present were sent home to try another day. How am I not canceled after this? You mean they actually want to come back? As Kyle got home, he made a mental note to refill his lard supply. <laughs> it's like, man, that lard was tasty. You know, I honestly expected that to go a lot worse. I didn't expect it to end with the lard, but okay, let's let's try again to ask the awkward questions. All right, we are back with a play with Kyle today. Okay, more. <laughs> Why do I say more? I don't need to say it. More. All right, Rachel, this is like, what, the, the 10th time you've been here? Okay, I mean, I don't know why you really want to be on this show. I guess we must get a lot of viewers. I can see why they never know what to expect. Everyone loves Kyle. I love Kyle. Kyle, you are a broski, okay? So Rachel, is your mother a mother? So said Kyle, my mother's a mother, my mother's mother is a mother, and my mother's mother, and many mothers have mothers, many mothers mother. <laughs> is your mother a mother? Rachel went to answer and stopped. I believe, she said, eventually that I should answer yes? Kyle asked another question intriguing there okay um i i i purposely ran over a puppy everyone in the studio froze kyle spread his hands out it's a joke <laughs> dude this is straight up turning like the joker interview like seriously he started laughing from the bottom of his stomach guys running over puppies you get the comedy in that nobody laughed with kyle several minutes later he stopped laughing and moved on he laughed for several minutes all right here, rachel the question everyone wants to know beef mashed or blended what is it what is it rachel answered quickly and honestly Mashed. 
Okay, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave the show, okay? That Because that's the kind of person you are, all right? And no more was said on the matter. Rachel, are you guilty? Kyle threw his questions on the floor. <laughs> are you guilty? I will hold you in contempt. <laughs> he stood up and pointed at her. Rachel's eyes twitched slightly. Guilty of what, dear Kyle? She smiled disingenuously. Oh my gosh, she is guilty. I knew it. Guilty, spat Kyle, of your crimes and everything you do, Rachel. Oh, oh, she's really guilty. Oh my god. The lie detector test determined that was the lie. Rachel did not answer. Her eyelids both started twitching uncontrollably. After reading his final question, Kyle looked up from his paper. Well, Rachel, he said, I think that's all I was planning on asking you. I want to know more. What, what did Rachel do? If that's the case, Kyle, may I ask you something in return? Why exactly did you decide to wear swimming go goggles today? Before Kyle could answer, the camera shut down. The broadcast was over. Kyle returned home knowing the interview had gone well. I would say it didn't. But as he lay in bed and drifted to sleep, he felt perhaps something was still missing. No, 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 no. What happened? What did Rachel do? I guess we're gonna have to find out next episode. Today's Squib of the Day goes to... Turtle McDurtle. She drew, she drew us YouTubers versus the FTC. <laughs> I love that. That really warms my heart. We got Jack Jacksepticeye, we got Lauren, we got Gloom here. Oh, I love this. Oh, we got PewDiePie. I love that so much. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as I am. I love this game so much and I really look forward to seeing because there's so much more crap we need to do. Kyle, chill, dude. If you're Kyle, leave a like and I'll see you scrubs in the next one. Bye guys.